Welcome to the channel, Ahilan here, and this is a very important video today that you're gonna wanna watch because I'm gonna be talking about doing your trademark keyword research. The last thing you wanna do is get it, your Amazon self-publishing account terminated. I know countless and heard of countless stories of publishers who got their accounts banned because they published inadvertently, so without them knowing, uh, an innocent mistake because they didn't do their due diligence and their research on a tr their trademark keyword. They published on a trademark keyword and they got their accounts banned. So I'm going to also be talking about the difference between trademark and copyright and give you some live examples of trademark keywords. So and also as well as how to use this website right here. So I'll leave a link below somewhere in the description for this US website that does trademark that's a trademark search engine that you can use. So let's get into the video. So what is a trademark? A trademark is a combination of letters, words, sounds, or designs that distinguish one's company, goods, or service from those of other in the marketplace. You cannot trademark the name of a single creative work. However, you can trademark a book title if you write a series of a book using that title. So here's an example, The Pie Guide. As a standalone individual title, this cannot be trademarked. However, if you produce a series of books using this title, then you can have it protected under trademark. Copyright is geared toward literary and artistic work such as books and videos. Now, you know, copyright and trademark are both methods of intellectual property protection, but th they're similar and they also vary in certain ways as well, as I've just explained, right? Now, let's get into the examples of trademark keywords, and I'm going to show you how to use the that trademark site to search trademark keywords. So here are a few examples of trademark keywords you do not want to use. So Instant Pot, Sugar Detox, Weight Watchers. So let's get into how to use this website. So once you're on this website, you're going to go to this link over here. And then once you've clicked that link, you'll, a page like this will appear. You're going to do basic wordmark search because we're doing this for the purpose of self-publishing, so it's gonna be keywords we're looking up, right? So the first one we're looking up is Instant Pot. And as you can see, it populates us some results, and Instant Pot is a live trademark, right? So you wanna to go to the status, which is over here, and it gives you if it, it gives you a status if it's live or dead. So if the trademark is active or inactive. So in this case, Instant Pot is a live trademark, meaning you cannot publish under this keyword. Right now, let's look up another one. Sugar Detox. I'm not even sure if this one is trademark, but I believe it is. The 21 day sugar detox, this is a trademark keyword that you do not want to use as well, right? It's live. Weight Watchers. So Weight Watchers, again, another live trademark keyword, so it's protected. So again, you do not want to publish under trademark keywords. Don't get your account banned. Keep your account in good standing with Amazon. Comply to their rules and policies and regulations because that's the last thing you want to do, especially if you're making substantial amounts of income. You know, losing, you know, your self-publishing business is not worth, you know, it's not worth it, right? And that's going to be all for this video. So if you found it helpful, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.